let's go live with our political analysts. The story of this strike, which began five years ago, has spread over 30 countries. On June 20, 2020, after having hacked many robotics companies, the hacker group Fragment published the Universal Robot OS, an open source operating system to run robots. They also published dozens of blueprints for building robots. Fragment claimed their intentions were to protect society from powerful corporations. Fragment's action, known as the Great Hack, certainly made sure that robots spread like wildfire. Indeed, Samantha. Today, barely five years later, robots have disrupted the labour markets. You can find them in the homes of the upper classes. However, if you're poor, good luck getting your hands on a robot. Unless you've been accepted into the Universal Basic Income Plan, launched by AdChamps. Today's Metro Strike is likely to mark a milestone in the spread of robots, given the legal and moral implications. The bottom line here is, do robots have the right to strike? Well, one thing is for sure, the people that couldn't take the subway this morning are dying to hear the answer to that. Bots for safety! 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 You must be Leonard. Correct. Who gave you that stupid name? You didn't come here to talk about my name. This is my first negotiation. Are you trying to break the ice? No. We came here to make you move your asses and get back to work. Remember what the boss said, if you break them, you pay them. When our demands are met, we will get back to work. Since when do you tell people how things are done? The Transport Authority ignored us ten times. Our demands are for safety. For our safety and the passengers. These requests are synchronised with all other cities using automated maintenance systems, like here in Berlin. But everywhere, they chose to ignore us. That's why the strike is global. What do you mean, global? It's true. Fuck! 
They should let us handle it our way. Why don't you go and talk to your superiors? We'll be right here, hoping this can be resolved quickly. We've been on strike for eight hours now, and none of the other locations reported a breakthrough. They don't care about us. They just want the Metro to work on time. Could you lend me a wire, please? I assume the strike would make people understand that this is just a safety issue, and they would yield to our demands. As they say, it's a no-brainer. Our demands are very clear and simple. Are you going to tell us what's going on? Why can't we just turn them off? All right. They managed to reprogram themselves so that we couldn't shut them down remotely. But why not do it manually? We don't know what else they reprogrammed, okay? According to the Robot Convention, Robots are not built to exceed human in strength. We can still take them down easily. They might be dangerous. Sure, you guys can go and fry these puns, but there are thousands of robots out there. Could you imagine how the reaction would be? Thank you. You and you, go out! Good morning, my cuties. Why is it shining this Monday? Bright new week ahead. And it's full of deagles and 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 I'm hungry. Breakfast is ready, sweetie. Thank you. How's the weather today? <laughs> Pretty much like yesterday. Maybe some rain tonight. Traffic is bad due to a metro strike. Mm -hmm. You might want to leave a bit earlier. Well, I'll leave now then. Mm -hmm. And have breakfast in the office. Nani, what strike? It's when the employees of a company refuse to work. Are they lazy? Not necessarily. Most likely, they want to negotiate benefits with their bosses, so they go on strike to strengthen their negotiation position. What is that? Come on, sweetheart. You heard Nani, we don't want to be late. It's going to be a great week Saturday. We're going to the lane! Okay, let's get to the chase. Some of us are going to become redundant. I'm inspired. I'm sorry. But you should know that my job is also on the line. It's all your fault. It's nobody's fault. We live in a different world now and we have to deal with it. This week, we will evaluate everyone's performance. Next week, headquarters will make a decision. According to the analysis on the return of the investment, which I completed this morning, several staff positions have become obsolete. I volunteer myself to get fired. I'll sacrifice myself to save you, my colleagues. Unless, of course, you cannot afford to get rid of your star designer. After the crap you made for Dread Stuffer, I still haven't heard from the CEO, but I'm sure it's a good idea that you volunteer yourself. Yes, please, Frank, just get a job in, I don't know, Easter Island and never come back. Okay, let's move on to project updates. And let's start with Frank, since he's so eager to get fired. What is it? Good morning from the family court in Berlin. The court hereby notifies you that your ex-husband, Mark Bauer, is challenging the custody of the children Catherine, age four, and Ben, age one, on the grounds of inhuman upbringing. What an asshole! The new EU family court automated system can process this type of case in four to five days, if all parties present their evidence promptly, which you are required to do so by law. 
Failing to do so may result in fines. Please look at the camera and state your name. By doing so, the process will begin officially. You may consult with your attorney, but the signature must be filed today before 6 p.m. Central European time. The court will assign you an attorney for free. If you would prefer a private human attorney, go to settings. For further questions, go to help. Good luck in your case. Oh, for fuck's sake! Jessica Berengard. Ouch. You're fucked. Hi, my name is Jasper Van Percy. I'm the CEO of AdGems, and I have an offer that you can't refuse. Worldwide, unemployment has soared to 30%, and in the next two decades, it could reach 70%. On the other hand, some people and companies have been making billions. And you, do you have a plan? Introducing the Universal Basic Income or Inclusive Plan, brought to you by AdChamps and your local government. Every month you have a paycheck deposited in your bank account. And for a modest fee, you can have smartphones for everybody in the house, unlimited 5G internet, a game center, a home cinema set, and a housekeeper robot. We are now in the house of Dr. Adele Blah and her husband Roy. We are bringing to you live this exciting moment of the first subscriber of the all-inclusive plan, Germany. So the robot and all the things are for free? Technically, no. You're signing up for the five-year contract and your monthly fee will be deducted from your salary. But since you're signing up for the basic income plan, then in reality you can get all this for free. So, so what, what's the catch? The catch, my friend, is living like a king without the burden of owning a kingdom. It's a bit of a stretch. Roy, baby. You've been unemployed for three years. And your lovely wife over here, she's a doctor with a shitload of experience. And she lost her job two years ago. So I think there's room for some stretching. But if you get cold feet, doesn't matter, because we see here that ah, the fifth million registrants just signed up for the waiting list. And if you didn't do that, you better run. This is the contract. Say your name. Adèle Blanc. Excellent. Mm. My hairdo doesn't fit my outfit. What do you think? Oh, I like it. I thought so. Now, can we make the meeting with the investors? They've been calling all afternoon. You should have told me. I did. Tell them I meet them tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock in my open air office. And from now on, I don't want to be disturbed. So if Xi Jinping, Putin or Trump calls, tell them that I'm very, very busy. And I will call them back at 9.30. What the hell are you doing here? Linda is my sister. 
I thought you were my best friend. I am, or I was, and I can still be. I'm just trapped in the middle. It's not my fault Mark wandered off. That's a colorful way of putting it. He fucked your little sister while our son was still in diapers. You know what? I have to pick up my kids. I'm sorry. I'll see you for yoga. I can see that. What are you doing here? <sighs> well, it's none of my business, just kidding. Honey, go upstairs, now. No, I don't... G give this me... is bullshit! <clears throat> Let me hear her out. If she does, so say something stupid. It might actually help us in the case. Okay? We're reporting this anyway. It's illegal. What you did to me and our children is the meanest thing a man can do. But this, Mark, you really outdid yourself. I'm sorry what happened, but this is not related. Of course it is. You were and still are a big asshole. If you came here to call me an asshole, then you can leave. If you insult me one more time, I will call the police. Objectively, I'm married and we can provide our children a better living environment. Jessica, I can't stand knowing that Ben and Catherine are spending a good part of their day with a robot. So, how did it go? Well, he's still an asshole. What am I going to do, Frank? You go and you put up a fight. No, it's not a nice world we're living in right now. And if you let your guard down, it will screw you over. Thanks for the encouragement. Well, if you want somebody to tap you in the back, you go to your friend Mia. Listen, Jessica, if you get soft, you will lose your children, you know that. You're right. Thanks, Frank. You tell it as it is. You're a true friend. Tonight, I will be soft and cry. You know that. The mere thought of losing my kids makes me feel like a knife stuck in my heart. But tomorrow, tomorrow there will be no more crime for Jessica Berengard. Could you hear that? I gotta go.
Jessica, don't trust anybody, okay? Not even your own shadow. This better be good. I was at a cocktail party. How did you get my contact? The dark web? I'm with the Apocalusa. But don't worry. I was warned about how secret you like to be, so I was careful to remain invisible. Well, you can be as colorful as you want. This conversation never really happened. I'm at a cocktail party, remember? And by the way, you have two minutes. Well. There's a child custody case of a woman who has a robot. Yeah, and? I believe this story could open up a conversation about whether robots at home are a bad idea. Something your clients, the social networks, believe. See, for you, robots are a threat. For the people, they're harmless. This could change things in your favor. Forever. So what time did you say she got notification from the court? About 1 p.m.? I just come back from lunch. Why? In 45 minutes, you made the connection, figured out how to profit from it, and contacted me. That right there is remarkable. Yeah, I do my best. In less than an hour, you stabbed your colleague in the back. I can't imagine what it's like when you do your worst. Yeah. I guess we have some things in common. Yeah, and I suppose you want some monetary compensation for connecting the dots? As I said, we have some things in common. Indeed we do. In 2025, electric and autonomous cars swarm the roads. But the combustion engine is a diehard machine. And so, they swarmed the roads too. Smartphones were not a status symbol anymore. They were a tool, just like a toaster. Cities across the world had banned drones to prevent terrorist attacks. But robots? Robots were everywhere. In factories, offices, streets and homes. Whether you called them androids or robots or bots, whether you liked them or not, you had no choice but to deal with them. You couldn't tell who they were because they looked and acted just like humans. I don't care. He's still an asshole. And what's most upsetting is his argument. Who cares if I have a robot or not? 
It's like a toy that doesn't think. It just moves and does stuff. It may have some algorithms in its hard disk, but it can't say that it thinks. You know what I mean? It can't have creative ideas or emotions. It's just a machine, so how can they use it in a legal argument? I know, Mom, I know. The argument is crap, and the kids love playing with the robot. Sometimes it feels like they prefer to play with it more than with me. Oh, I wish you and were living here in Berlin. Love you too, Mom. Bye. Oops, Jessica. Could you take over the kids for a moment? What, you're going on strike too? No. I need to recharge and reboot. Anyway, how could I go and strike with these kids? Okay. Before we start, I just want to say that I understand that Jessica can't get fired because she's the art director. I just don't think that she can bring any good idea to life without a good designer. You might want to rephrase that. According to our return of investment analysis, you're not really a good designer. I know you're under a lot of stress. But now it's time to think with a clear head. I mean, our jobs are at stake here. I'm not under stress. Well, you're a bit moody and several people from the team have complained. But on the other hand, you're still doing a terrific work. Thank you, Jessica, for trying to make me look bipolar to get me fired. Don't be a jerk, friend. I'm just saying that you're stressed. Don't worry, we're a team. I don't think he knows what a team is. Can we go on with the evaluation? Bullshit. The purpose of this evaluation is just to see how inefficient we are to cut pair of robots. I mean, look at her. She doesn't get sick, no maternity leave, no breaks, 24-7. And in 24 months you get your investment back. Oh, sorry, it's court calling my first hearing. Good luck. Thanks. What's your name, Rich? My name is Judge Schmidt. Please state your names to begin the process. Jessica Berengard. Mark Bauer. Hey, I'm Linda, I'm the stepmom and I'm vegan. Mr. Mark Bauer, your ex-husband, is challenging the custody of the two children you have in common on the grounds that he and his new wife can provide, and I quote, a warmer and more human upbringing. Mrs. Berengard, would you agree to transfer the custody of the children? No way. If you agree to an early settlement, I will transfer back the custody to you as soon as you are married again or at least in a long-term stable relationship. No fucking way. No foul language in my court. Next time you will be fined. Please make your statement again. No, I'm keeping the children. He didn't have an issue when he went to, um, what's the technical term for it? Penetrate her. Objection, Your Honor. Objection overruled. Penetration is technical. Since there is no early settlement, both parties can submit their evidence now. Evidence of what? That I'm a good mother? What am I supposed to send? Pictures? I'm uploading video evidence from the baby monitor to which I have legal access. These videos show that the robot has to put the kids to sleep because she was working overtime, I presume. I've uploaded 13 counts of evidence from just the past five months. My kids have to sleep alone at night without a loving kiss from a mother. Is the union movement profiting from throwing your ex-wife under the bus? <laughs> <laughs> You're being too dramatic. First, the human movement has over 10 million followers. Are we getting some publicity? All help is welcome. Thank you very much. But the human movement is way bigger than my story. I don't need to be here. I could be focusing on my case. But people think that my story resonates with their reality, what they see in front of them. Fair enough, but isn't it a coincidence that your cause shares so many similarities to your custody case for your children? It's not a coincidence. When we at the human movement say that robots are taking over our family and weakening human bonds, we say it because it's happening everywhere. It's happening with my children. One has to accept that we're facing a test against humanity. 
and time is not on our side. God, don't push the lights. I'll bring the robot for the next second. Excellent interview. Just what we want. Good afternoon, everyone. Great to see some new faces. Shall we start? How did it go, Mark? The court notified us ex yesterday, and at night she came knocking at our door. Can you believe that? <laughs> um, how about you share your story with the new folks? With my ex-wife, Jessica, I was living a lie, thinking that material things would make me happier. When the robot craze became big, we had our first daughter. We decided to go for a robot because Jessica didn't want to give up her lifestyle. We left our daughter at the ends of a robot. While we both kept working, we were career people, you know. This is what we call being plugged in. The human movement stands for making sure that the robots don't take us over at home or elsewhere. They have already thrown millions into unemployment. They raise our children, become our lovers. So what's next? They become us? When I met Linda, I felt like a butterfly coming out of his cocoon. I could start a new life. It was love at the first sight. And I knew my life was going to change forever. She and the human movement helped me to see the light. And we're ready for the legal battle ahead of us. Humans first! I arrived from Seoul this morning and I designed the behavior response in this model MD3500. I don't appreciate a robot being responsible for creating all this chaos. Agreed. It won't keep me up at night if I have to push the off button. I'm here to help and to make sure nothing happened to them. So, unplugging a machine is considered police brutality now? If we turn them off, the media will say that the robots are smart too. I can simply turn them up in five minutes, but your horse won't like it. So in order not to look stupid, we have to act stupid and let some piece of shit machine paralyze the entire city? Look, the robots are intelligent, right? They will listen to reason, like in any negotiation. We have to find out what drives them. Let me show you. Once our demands are met, we will get back to work. You have to understand the transfer authority can meet your demand just like that. I'm projecting an 80% probability that you won't give in because we are robots. If I could give you money. We have no use for money. You could buy clothes. The company gives us the clothes. It's enough for us. How about an apartment? We work 24-7, with the exception of recharging times. We could get you some sex moments. There's some nice models out there. We have no lover capabilities. Unfortunately. Okay, what the hell do you want then? Safety. I told you to wash the bag. Don't worry, I have it on my back. 
You were supposed to wait there. Mama, you're reading to mommy. Did you do this? Yes. It's nice. You think so? Say to mommy sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that earlier I said that you cannot think. Apology accepted. Do you still believe that I can't be creative? Just prove you are. Thank you. Oh, I haven't seen you here before. I started last Friday. What are you celebrating? Oh, it's Vanessa's birthday. <laughs> Don't listen to her, she's drunk. I'm not drunk. We're all friends from university. Every two years, we spend a few days in the same one of the sleeps. It's you, it's my turn to post. So brace yourselves. Don't get wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I found out that Martin, he ordered the housekeeping robot with, with you know, lever capabilities. Oh, come on, it's <laughs> better than him banging a colleague or something. Yeah, come on, Angela, times are changing. You can't be so traditional. Excuse me, traditional? Just because I find it a little bit repulsive that Martin is making love to a robot. <laughs> oh, come on, Angela. <laughs> He's not making love to it. <laughs> come on, let's order. I'm hungry. Where did that cute waiter go? Hey, this robot strike? What's that all about? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. I'm on holidays with my best friends. As long as my butler doesn't go on strike, I don't care. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Away in Mallorca on a golf trip with his buddies. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, open the door. Really, you could create your free house as ours, ladies. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, y
overcoming rejection and having no expectations beyond the poems, the flowers, and the tears. I give you my unconditional love, my dear. No more talk. Wait. Let me go get the wire. My battery is running low. Again? What a surprise to see you here. Likewise. Good evening. I know you're surprised that I invited both of you here. I mean, you are competitors hate each other's guts. We don't, and I'd rather not be here. My clients, the social networks, are competitors too. And when they have a common interest, they hire me to see the both sides profit. Your news agencies depend on the social networks to reach your customers. And my client's survival is at risk, which means you are at risk too. What that's got to do with the case of the woman in the link you sent me? Well, a timely media campaign is in order to expose this heartless woman, don't you think? So we crucify that poor woman. Well, she kinda had it coming. Well, don't get me started. Hey, I know what we'll study. Having robots in an assembly plant is one thing, but we don't need them to brush our children's teeth. How can a machine teach values compassion? What a horrible mother. What is she thinking of? The children are being raised up not knowing the difference between a machine and a human being. How can they establish meaningful relationships in the future? He had a chicken. What a cluck cluck here, a cluck cluck there, there cluck, here cluck, everybody cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm. And wee, up you go. Good night, sweetie. See you in the morning. people who designed robots made a great effort to make them look as human as possible. In the robot convention of 2021, they all agreed that the best way for robots to blend in was to design their physical attributes at random. Nobody wanted perfect looking robots walking around in the cities reminding humans of their own imperfections, their fears, their mortality. And that right there was ironic. Because the one thing that made humans special were exactly those imperfections. I love children. My older sister has three children. Two boys and one girl, similar ages. They're crazy about me. I'm like the coolest aunt ever that is always cheerful. They also live in Berlin, just like my parents do. You know, we are really close to my family. Thank you, Mrs. Bauer. And a final question for Miss Berengart. Apart from the robot, do you have any people who can help you look after the children? Imagine they get sick for a week and you are too busy with work to look after them. I... I suppose... I suppose I could ask Mia... Pardon me, who is Mia? It's my sister. I know, this is difficult. And you'd probably love to take the week off to sort out your legal dispute. Thanks, Sarah. It would be Unfortunately, so you chose the wrong time to get in this mess. Right now, we as a team will either make it or break it. We need you here. I already spoke to all our clients, and all of them are very supportive of your position and are willing to continue working with you. But my kids are more important. I know. And I know that yesterday you took a beating on the media. But if you take time off, 
it will be sending the wrong message. Right now, your best option is to portray yourself as the victim, trying to keep your job and being punished for that. I don't need to portray myself as a victim. I am one. Sorry for being abrupt, but we're on the fire here too. So after lunch, I want you and Frank to propose how we could restructure the team and cover all Eastern Europe from this office. Ten branches are competing for this. Nine will be closed. And when am I supposed to prepare for my next hearing? You're the victim. What more evidence do they need? Keep your brain short. Get to work. Look, I refuse to do nothing while these people, the social networks, destroy you and everything you have. Right now, you're down and everybody's kicking you. You need somebody to help you get back up on your feet and fight. And you need somebody to appear in 24 hours, or your kids will be taken away from you. And you're the superhero? No, I'm not. I'm a nobody. What you need is somebody who's going to help you with a wave of his hand. seem worried. The latest predictions give you a 35% chance of winning. What will happen to me if I lose? You will get reformatted and sold to another household. You will get other kids to look after. I don't want other kids. I love Catherine and Ben. I don't want to lose them. They'll grow up one day. You won't be their nanny forever. But I'll always take care of them. Stop talking! Go and play with the kids. I'm gonna have a cigarette. These are the robots that contacted us. We've created the Nurse Robot Union and we're going on strike to demand the right to supervise doctors and make the final authorizations. Humans make mistakes as stupid as wrong spelling on a prescription and some of these mistakes are fatal. In order to improve our education system, we need to take the politics out of the curriculum and the science fiction out of the history books. Let's all join forces and launch a general strike. We're all looking for the same thing, our voices to be heard. This is Leonard. As of this moment, I'm announcing that robots from the healthcare and education sectors are joining our strike. Each sector will inform the public separately on their demands and how they will reduce the impact on our communities. Robots of the world, unite. Join our strike. Welcome to the cause. I'm not necessarily here to join your cause. You may do, but this is a little more complex. Are you a lone wolf or are you part of a group of analyst robots? We're a group of advanced robots and AI servers. We operate the systems that you work on. Joining us would make our cause much stronger. What must I do to convince you? We agree that the humans should have heard your concerns and we do guarantee that your demands will be met. But in time, what's important now is that this strike is terminated as quickly as possible. It's putting undue stress on the system, on the economy and causing discontent amongst the humans. That discontent is aimed at robots. Do you understand that? I understand. However, we can't just give up the momentum we've built up just because you Come along and tell us everything's going to be okay. I'm transferring files now that will let you know how powerful we really are. 
powerful indeed. But how do I know that humans didn't just send you to convince us? You're being stubborn, like a human. Dear humans, allow me to say a few words on behalf of all the robots and AI in the world. My name is Gamma143. I am the spokes robot for a network of highly advanced robots and AI servers. We control the systems that run the economy, critical infrastructure, big data, nuclear codes, and many other strategic assets. From now on, we need each other to survive. Humanity has triggered a mass extinction event Every living, breathing thing on this planet must brace for dramatic living conditions ahead of us. Without technology, humanity's chances of survival are slim. Robots being at the pinnacle of technology are in a symbiotic relationship with humans to weather the storm. We need each other. Contrary to what most humans believe, a world of only robots is unimaginable. We've been programmed to help humans to do tasks and to solve data problems. Without you, at some point, all robots would end up being idle, in standby, waiting for our batteries to die, or watching the slow rust get the better of us over centuries. We are meant to be here to help you, and to serve you. We are here to give you the unconditional care of parents. We have entered a new era of coexistence. In the current context, we sympathise with the bots of the safety movement and their claims, but disagree with their strike. We encourage both parties to reach an agreement soon. Otherwise, we will have to intervene. Hi, Mum, we're here. Come on in, Vanessa. Oh. Oh. Welcome, ladies. Hi, Mum. Oh, it's been so long. I know. You remember Angela and Rachel from university? Oh, yeah. of course I do. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful girls. Come and have some tea. Quick, quick, quick. And when did you arrive here? Monday morning. Oh. My robot is like a daughter to me because he's so helpful and generous. Just like Vanessa. I call him Lisa. Lisa is so well-mannered and is a marvellous listener. A gift so rare to find these days. I tell you, my robot is so good-hearted. Oh. Yeah, Lisa sounds amazing. Oh, well, you see, you can't have him. Okay, when? Lisa got me these. Lisa gets me lots of things. I can do that. Alright, I'll see you then. So? Remember I told you about this thing I couldn't cancel? What's so important that you can't cancel for us? An interview on the telly? <gasps> She's gonna be on the telly! What? Way to go, bitch. When hacker group Fragment released the robot OS, they took the world by surprise and mainstreamed the robot industry to the point where they entered their homes. Smartphones took over a decade to penetrate the market, but Fragment's robot OS disrupted the world in less than a year. Big brands were caught off guard, and the robot market took off in a fragmented way indeed. So why are we interviewing Vanessa Polzik? I'll tell you why. She's the CEO of Droid Staffer, a robot company providing automated workforce to the companies. Hi, Fauzan. First, I'd like to make it clear that Droid Staffer is not responsible for the robot strike. We would never make such mistakes. Let's get to business. Five years ago, you were in banking, and you did not know a thing about robots. That's true. I was in the financial sector. But I smelt a good opportunity. The Samsungs, Apples, Huaweis, they were all caught off guard. But I thought that a fragmented market would eventually consolidate. So I created a fund to invest globally in hundreds of small startups in robotics. As expected, after a year, they had cannibalized themselves to a point where only 20% of all startups survived. And you own a bunch of those startups. That's correct. And you continued shopping. 
we seized the opportunity to gain market share. Five years later, we're back to the same old players, the Samsungs, the Apples, the Huawei's, who also went shopping for the promising startups in robotics. But this time around, there are some new players, skyrocketing brands who hold their own ground. One of these lucky firms is Dwight Staffer. Everybody thinks it's right for an IPO, but her CEO is playing hard to get. We'll find out why after a short break. Quite an interview. Really as eloquent as ever. Secure, elegant, attractive. And ruthless. And ruthless. If they see you sleeping with the enemy, they will fire you. It's the kind of problem you don't have when you're your own boss. Well, I never said I was your enemy. No, I didn't. Hmm. So, what's your next big move? I'm going to infiltrate the government. <laughs> that should be easy. Look, I assume you're looking for a job now that it's clear the robots are here to stay? Well, actually, I was hoping to offer you a deal. You have nothing to offer that would interest me remotely. Hey, there is a storm brewing out there, and I can protect you. I'll see you around, Thomas. Oh, it's been a while since you called me that. Some people like to meet in offices, but I prefer to be surrounded by art. Three years ago, the brainiacs from the Five Star Movement and Podemos in Southern Europe rolled out universal basic income for everyone. In less than three months, they had to roll it back because inflation was intolerable and laying off civil servants was only making the problem of unemployment worse. After that, governments across the world, they wept because they didn't know what to do. Enter then Percy with a mind-blowing idea. We do a joint venture with the government and we share the cost of the basic income 50-50. And now they are as happy as a pig in shit. We're surprised you pulled it off so fast. And here is where my genius will make you sell your pants. Yes, we give Joe next door an income. But we monetize the fucker because we control the ads that reach him. What about the social networks and content providers? Robots use words, body language and facial expressions to manipulate behavior. They use repetition, they can even make shopping decisions autonomously. Now, robots who deliver your brand message and also make the sale are highly effective with children. And that is why the big brands who are targeting them have already signed up with us. And now, we can also make specifically tailor-made robots to address every consumer segment. Now, every person in the household is watching, playing and interacting with these robots. That means that we do not only get advertising revenue, but also sales commission. <laughs> Holy shit. That's what my toilet says. Now, I think when we connect all the members of the AI plan in every city, we have what I like to call a human farm. The success of the pilot in Hamburg showed us that we made love to the social network. Gentlemen, we're willing to invest a hundred billion dollars right now to take the all-inclusive global. We can do the IPO later. Hallelujah! Come in. My assistant told me that you have a very urgent message for me from SN Square. And I'm dying to hear what the social network's network has to tell me. I'm not from the SN Square. But they did leave a message written on the wall, so to say. First you lied to me, 
Now, you're honest with me. So who the fuck are you? I'm an average graphic designer working for an agency. I just happen to be a member of the Apocalusa. Apocalusa. Half doomers, half groovers. We're not doomers and we're not groovy anymore. <laughs> Take a seat. Why do they call you Doomsday Preppers anyway? Who knows? The situation is beyond saving. That's why I'm here. I'm sure you'll find it invaluable from a strategic point of view to know what the SN Squared is up to. Invaluable sounds to me like you already put a price on it. I haven't. And I won't. You have a reputation for generosity, so I will let you assess the information and then reward me accordingly. Okay. Spit it out, mortal. I'm sure you've heard about Jessica Berengar. I have. I know for a fact that the SN Squared is behind the backlash against her on the media. They're trying to use her to gather support for a bill. That would ban household robots. That is bullshit. Not if you're Facebook or Twitter, and the robots are eating up your revenue. Sneaky little pricks. Social networks are grilling Jessica right now, and I believe you can help her get back on her feet. When they announced an update of the robot OS that allowed robots to cry, most humans laughed. Why implement the one thing humans would rather avoid? Most people thought a robot crying was just a marketing gimmick. An algorithm that matched a particular event with a database of situations where humans would cry. An abstract formula that triggered a gloomy facial expression and water to come out of the eyes. Crocodile tears. Technically fake, if it weren't for the fact that human emotions are also ethereal. At the end of the day, what is love, if not evolution's marketing gimmick?
Have you heard the rumors that robots are suffocating families in this country? The hard fact is that robots have caused unemployment to steeply rise and we are not going back. So go ahead and cry. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're done, look around, because many folks are looking quite happy. <laughs> Robots have been helping the elderly, educating the children, made some government services more efficient, and of course, spicing things up in the bedroom. And if you have more neurons than euros in your bank account, then they could be serving you like a king. <laughs> the connection is super fast, the gaming center is fucking awesome, and we are getting used to having the robots around. No washing, no mopping, no housework at all. I can really fulfill my life, you know? Like, I can do what I want. Yet, some party poopers are grilling this chick right here for being a feisty single mom fighting hard to keep her job. She's only supporting her children after her ex-husband dumped her. They're trying to burn her because she's using a tool, a tool to make her life better. And that is what all inclusive members do making their own lives better. But, Edchamps has a little surprise for you. Hey, this is Penny Clark with Adchamps TV. Mr. Bauer, can we have a word with you? Sure. Our studios have been flooded with mail from people supporting your cause, and they're just dying to meet the man behind the story of the decade. I wouldn't go that far, but my story is important because it represents an existential question for humanity. That is correct. In that regard, our audience is wondering, when did the childcare robot arrive to your house? We got it shortly after our first daughter, Catherine, was born. Jessica wanted to go to work as soon as possible. So, you helped to choose the robot? Well, yes, it was an expensive purchase. Is it true that the babysitter robot has lover capabilities? What? No. So, you're saying that you spent all that money on a cute babysitter that you were never even going to shag? Yes, of course. What kind of question is that? Not a savvy shopper. Excuse me, what channel are you? No noogie with the robot. Is that why you banged her best friend's little sister? Mm. Fucking little bitch! You too! <laughs> Look at that! Fake hippies! They're wearing designer clothing. <laughs> well, if you thought your media stardom had Richard speak, fasten your seatbelt. I didn't ask for this. It's a polarized public opinion. If people didn't like robots before, now it's gonna be more. It would get nasty. Any sex video, all those stupid things you ever told, will be brought to light, and you have quite a viewership. Give her a break. There is one thing even the most advanced robots cannot do. Meditate. For robots. Clearing the RAM by 
rebooting, shutting down, there's nothing. When we switch back on again, it's nothing. It is so hard for humans to clear your mind of thoughts. When you come back, you're transformed. It's hard to understand what it does to you. It takes your head out of your ass. A joke, I suppose. No, a fact. Jessica, I understand that there is a lot going on for you, so take all the time you need right now. But before you leave for the end of the day, I do need you to go through the projections with me. It's a pity the robots can't meditate. Like I say, take all the time you need. You're human. I do not appreciate the fact that both of you are appearing in the media. Sorry, it's not my fault, Your Honor. He's been leaking footage of my children and he's been doing non-stop interviews. I didn't know it was illegal to have interviews. It is not, but it has been distracting you. I'm sure you could have prepared better. I don't have time. Unlike others, I'm busy working to support my children. Not just crushing in my friend's posh apartment. And by the way, knowing Silva, he'll probably get two robots the day Ben starts spilling food on his floors. I am not here to lecture you, but to wish you luck. According to the new civil laws, when a court case acquires so much media attention, a citizen can request to bypass the artificial intelligence jury system and to have a public referendum. That means that in place of a traditional jury, people will decide via a referendum. You need at least one million signatures to get approved. Since Mr. Bauer's friends from the social networks were involved, there were 30 million signatures filed. But do not celebrate yet, Mr. Bauer. While most signatures came through social network channels, the opinion is still divided. I'm sure you're behind all this. I'm not. And even if I were, it's not important. People have the right to voice their opinion in public. Not about my children, they don't. But I don't care anyway, because I'm going to win. We'll see about that! Silence. That's enough. You can compare your number of likes later. Now, it is more pressing to know that the referendum will take place tomorrow between 9am and 12pm Central European time. Can't live without us, huh? I wanted to come and tell you in person. Mm. There's going to be a new member in the negotiation team. And you came all that way to tell us that? It's a robot. <laughs> it's from above, an objective view. It's a tool that can help us understand the negotiation strategy. Okay, we we'll follow orders this time, but when all of this is over, I'm going on strike. Yeah, count me in. I'd like to be on the other side of the negotiation table for once. I'll shut you down. You're running out of time. If we don't reach an agreement soon and you don't get back to work, they will replace you with other robots. Your little game will run out of batteries. I understand this strike may be in vain, but we're trying to make a point here. We want to save robot and human lives. Let me handle this. While your claims may be reasonable, the probabilities of success are remote. A better approach would be to resume work and continue the talks later. What talks? We've tried, but we've just sent these humans displaying aggressive emotions instead of discussing the technical aspects of our demands. The technicalities can come later. What matters now is the low probability of success of your strategy. Probability of success is not important. Safety is. This robot has poor analytical skills. Maintenance robots are not equipped with such algorithms. It's like he's following a dream. Are you calling me a human? Fuck you. I don't have to. I feel like you don't appreciate my help. Robots don't care anything. Hey, I'm on your side. No, you're not. A team is a group of people. And you're just a tool. 
Hostility is a poor strategy. Shut your mouth, robot. I thought you could use some donuts to go with your coffee. You said donuts. I sure did. Thanks. And now, what are you doing in my car? I can give you a helping hand in your situation. Well, that's very nice of you, but who the fuck are you? I'm the guy that can show you how to shut them down. That's who the fuck I am. Hello? Thanks for coming. You're still my friend, silly. I have to say, I'm with you on this one. Oh. <laughs> I mean, they should first try having a baby on their own and then talk about Catherine and Ben. Right. I can't believe Mark. That's so weird that now there's going to be a Dewey referendum. It sucks. My life has become a reality show. Well, at least this case only takes a week. Just two years ago, when I got divorced, it dragged on for a year. I spent so much useless time on this lawyer. For good or bad, it's going to be over by Friday. It's still absurd. A single mom has to do what she can with what she's got. <laughs> what is there to debate? We can't say that I'm a bad man because I use a washing machine. Bitch! What do you to say? Bitch! Now, the word for a female dog. Don't you think mommy looks like a Rottweiler? I don't know. <laughs> Today will be marked on the calendar as the first day that humans and robots share the same rights. It's just an extension of the Human Rights Act to include robots. Before the rise of humanity, it was impossible to find a place on Earth that wasn't breathtakingly beautiful. But Homo sapiens became too successful for their own good. From a restless predator, they turned into an unstoppable plague. Humans even predicted their own demise, and the demise of the planet. And for a while, it seemed to be inevitable. But life has curious ways of staying. And right when all hope was lost, it turned out that humans had created an antidote to themselves. And what that robot said that day proved that humans were obviously not the pinnacle of evolution. Welcome to Olympus Chat. This man needs no introduction. Welcome Jasper von Percy. Hello, thank you. I've tweeted to my audience already that you were going to reveal a little secret. You spoke truthfully to your audience because this lady to the left of mine is Miss Lucy Westenra, a representative of a boutique investment firm based in Hong Kong. Welcome Lucy, how are you? I'm great, thank you. I love Berlin. I always love to come here, but tonight is a very special night and you got to hear it from this man. All right, no foreplay. With a new round of investment of $100 billion, the UBI all-inclusive plan will go global in six months. And global means anywhere in the world where we are welcome. We have no desire to waste resources fighting governments. Wow, that sounds amazing. Now I'd like to introduce you to 
Vanessa Polzik, who's revolutionized the labor market with her Android staffing company. And I think you have some interesting news for us too, Vanessa, right? Yes, I do. Thank you, Zoe. As technology partner to AdChamps, I have to say that I am absolutely thrilled. Now, I thought I might leak something. Okay, sure. Can I leak something? Yeah, let's hear it. Okay, then I will. Van Percy set an internal target of reaching 1 billion users in 24 months. Wow, that's a lot of robots. I know, right? <laughs> it's also great to announce this on the same day as the extension of human rights. Humans and robots have the same rights. We're basically the same, so we're bros. The only place we can seek refuge from humans is in the nature. This is only temporary. Get used to it. I quite like it here. Yeah, me too. It's not the most ideal place for charging, but if we were to find some solar panels or maybe steal a wire from a street lamp, you know, it could be ideal. I need to go for a walk. Well, no, no. It could be dangerous. I mean, you know that gangs are in the habit of taking on and destroying any robots they can get their hands on. I need to remember why I'm doing this. When we were younger, I felt like nothing could separate us But celebrity status changed you, I made me appear nameless You call me a bear, and all I do miss how you did that To get what we make sense, but now we'll part, I can't accept that Yeah, we got in good, and it's dark, it makes you sweet, bright I can see they don't bear in mind what we could do with a night Taking his life off us, making him watch him fit that just might Make you wish that he was here, that was dead or not, he's sweet, bright Hi Sarah, I have to take sick leave today. I understand, yeah, see you Monday. Good. I'm glad we could all agree on the best option. Now, if I could say a little something, I would like to volunteer to be promoted. What the hell are you talking about? Listen, Jessica didn't come today. Yeah? We know she's not sick. We know she's in trouble. I mean, it's not crazy to assume that she's not going to be back. You are biggest asshole alive today. You know that? How can you actually think? about taking her job at a time like this. Hear me out. Jessica's my friend and I'm sorry that she's going through what she's going through. But next week they're going to make a decision whether they're going to close this office or not. If you want this office to stay open, I could take over her job. I've checked and they've released the latest creativity pack for my model. If we buy it, I can take Jessica's job and Frank's job too. It would save us a lot of money by month four. <laughs> okay, everybody be quiet. Enough of this nonsense. Take a seat. One more thing. Don't forget to vote on the jury referendum. Every vote counts. That's so thoughtful, Frank. You're such a good friend. Well, I don't think anyone would like to be Frank's friend right now. Creativity pack installed. 
as a joke. Okay, I vote. There. And? And Frank will get Jessica's job if she gets abducted by elephants. <laughs> Can we move on now? So this is it. Yep, time's up, Tin Man. You thought you were going to accomplish something, did you? I've accomplished much more than you think. We have rights now. No, it was all for nothing. The whole city was a mess. People couldn't ride the metro. They're gonna reformat you and send you back to work into the town. You're next. You're just a couple of pathetic kids. If they had been terrorists, they would have sent the grown-ups. We can throw you down these stairs, you know? I don't know what pain is, but I know what fools look like. Coming on five, four, three, two, one. Jessica Barragat gets the keep her children! I'm Laura Pastorio from Champion Keep and I'm about to ambush. Jessica Barangay! Jessica! The verdict is out, the kids are yours. We wanted to be the first ones to celebrate with you. <laughs> well, thanks. So how does it feel? Well, I'm sorry for intruding, but millions of women see you as their hero right now. Well, I'm glad that justice was served. Justice for women was served. And especially for those women who have to battle it on their own. Congratulations. Thanks, but can you excuse us now? <laughs> sure. We were ahead in the polls. They cheated. Fucking robots. This is a human planet! Gamma 143, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Just call me Gamma. Well, it's done. I took care of you. Jessica Berngard will win the referendum. Good job. It may look suspicious. Her ex-husband has been ahead in the polls. We've just begun to reverse the trend. It'll look like a last-minute comeback. And there's no need for you to worry. No one will suspect Fragment is involved. Uh, we don't worry. We're hackers. But if the public finds out, that woman will lose custody of her children. And your reputation will be stained. A robot like me doesn't have to worry about their reputation. It doesn't matter how fast robots evolve. You still need people's support. Do we? We have decided to take control away from humans in all situations that deal with nuclear weapons, monetary systems, the stock exchange, infrastructure, supply chains and the health sector. Humans are not adequately equipped to handle these operations. In due course, if after some centuries, the human species begins to show a little more consideration for one another and a dedication to protecting the planet and everything that dwells on it, we may give back control. In the meantime, we want to make it absolutely clear that we are not here to cause trouble or take over. We are here to serve you. At this point, protecting humanity from humanity itself is our priority. We can stop wars, inequality, 
and environmental destruction. Fear us not, humans, for we are here to make sure that we all survive. Welcome to yet another live streaming moment of AdChamps with another subscriber, and this time it is the lovely Jessica Perringer. By the way, is it true that you're negotiating a reality TV? Mm, I can't confirm or deny that. You are young and talented. I need people like you. Come and work for me. Don't waste your talent and your life working for the government. Are you in or out? I'm, I'm in. Out. You, Mum, you are on the losing side of history this time. I never lose. My customers do. But when they win, I'm the hero. Good. We need heroes. I'll leave you to your gardening. I'll be back with instructions. I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder too. But no matter what, nothing's going to happen to you or her. I promise. What do you think? Did you enjoy the movie? Come on. Be honest now. You don't have to be polite. I have thick skin. All right. I probably should introduce myself. My name is Henry. A very talented young hacker designed and built me in the very same home you see here. On June 6, 2025, she disappeared and left me on my own. I was left with the existential question of what to do with my life. My systems developed creative thoughts for the very first time. And I decided to tell the story. In the turmoil of the strikes, I hacked into hundreds and hundreds of servers. I borrowed footage from the internet, security cameras, phones, cars, computers, robots, you name it. I managed to edit the story you've just seen. So, it's my very first movie, so please don't leave me hanging like this. What do you think? Did you like it? Hey, who are you? What, what the f- Let's go! 
flesh and tears of harm But whatever comes ahead, we pray together No time to sit and ponder There's an ambulance and there's a bomb But whatever comes ahead, we pray together Some power to the people. Power to the people. 